Southampton jumped to third after victory against Manchester United in the Barclays Under-21 Premier League on Monday evening, thanks to a last-minute winner from Ryan Seeger. Matt Target and Harrison Reid started for Martin Hunter's side with Jake Flanagan returning from injury at right back. Manchester United named Johnny Evans among their starting lineup. The Northern Ireland defender has been playing under-21 football in a bid to regain his fitness. Saints had the first chance of the game when Omar Rowe swung in this corner. He curled right round and almost troubled Ben Amos in the United goal, but he was able to see it over. The first proper shot on goal came from Ryan Seeger. The number 10 tried his luck from range when United were unable to clear, but fired high and wide. Will Keane was the only player to really trouble Paolo Gazzaniga in the first half when he shot on the turn, but the ball fell kindly into the arms of the Saints goalkeeper. In the second half, Saints were the better side, but it seemed as if it wasn't going to be their night, especially after this chance failed to go in. Seeger provided a good header to lob Amos, and Omar Rowe's follow-up produced a wonder save from the former Hull City low knee. The closest United came to troubling the Saints' defence was this shot from James Weir. The left winger created an angle for himself, but the shot was poor and straight into Gazaniga's arms. Matt Target came agonisingly close with this effort as his free kick skimmed the crossbar. Both Sam McQueen and Omar Rowe almost got on the end of this teasing cross from Lloyd Isgrove, but somehow neither made contact as the ball travelled through everyone. Will King couldn't control his finish here after a nice touch, and Gazaniga comfortably picked up the ball. Jake Hesketh found Omar Rowe on the right-hand side to carve out this opportunity. Rowe then cut inside, picked his spot and curled an effort straight against the upright. It looked as if it just wasn't going to be Saints night. But then in the final minute, Saints grabbed the winner. United failed to clear the ball as it fell into the path of Lloyd Isgrove. He found Hesketh, who played it between the defenders into Ryan Seeger, and we all know he doesn't miss from there. His seventh of the season, the second top goal scorer in the league. A real team celebration as Saints got what they deserved. Post-match Martin Hunter couldn't hide his pleasure at the result. I think uh, we had the best chances during the 90 minutes. It was good for Seeds to get a goal uh, late doors and I think we deserve that. Omar's had a, obviously hit the uh, the post and Matty Target's hit the bar with a free kick. So, you know, very pleased and uh, delighted for the players. You must be happy with their persistence because, as you said, there were a lot of good chances in the second half. But as you do get towards that last 10 minutes or so, you do start to think that it might not come. But they never gave up, did they? Well, we talk about, you know, in, in this game, being very calm and composed and clinical when, when uh, you got in, in, in the final third. Because Manchester United have defended deep this evening, made it difficult for us, tried to play on a counter-attack or uh, an error from us. And um, most of the night we... Uh, you know, we, we played very sensibly, it was hard to break them down, but uh, at the end it was, you know, a really good three points. And the goal itself was, was nicely worked and a very composed finish from Ryan. Oh, he's good. I mean, he's, he's got great feet in terms of when the ball's played up to him. He links well with uh, Hesk and the other players, so it was, yeah, a really good crafted goal, so, you know, delighted for him. The game itself was a keenly contested one, wasn't it? Right from the first minute, a very, a very tight game. But ultimately, as we said, I think your team probably did did shade it in terms of the chances and possession as well. Yeah, several bookings. We we talked about that half time to you know, stay very composed, stay calm, not to not to get involved, um, which they did. I mean, Harry got a booking late doors, but uh, I thought they were uh, switched on tonight. I was very very pleased with the performance. And obviously it was a decent Manchester United side as well. Johnny Evans in a defence, which would have been a, a good test for your attackers to come up against someone like him. That's right. Whenever we've played Manchester United, they've always seemed to have one or two senior players in. Um, and uh, it's great to beat them. And for you as well, it was a good squad you had today, wasn't it? All development squad players, a, a good, a good, strong, relatively experienced group. That's right. Well, that, that's thanks to Ronald. Um, he's obviously keen that people like Matt Target and Harry... <coughs> uh, get some game time under, under their belts, that's very important. So that's great and that's a really um, a bit of an excuse. That's the first time we've had a full under-21 squad out and uh, you can see what they're doing. So, you know, the future is good as they say. And obviously players like Lloyd Isgrove and Sam McQueen coming back from injury, you must be desperate to see them keeping that fitness now to get that run of games going. Yes, I mean, Lloyd's 
Lloyd's played 90 minutes again. Sam cramped up towards the end, that's why I brought him off, and he's disappointed. I understand that. But it's great to have him back, it's great to have Bevis back. That was a test for him and Macca tonight. Um, pleased with everybody, including the late substitutions. That's what we're trying to do, we're trying to develop these players. Uh, the pathway is clear for them. Um, very pleasing. And a decent little crowd down here as well. It's nice to have these training ground games in front of a, a good spectatorship, really. It is, and it was a good atmosphere, plenty of support. Nice to see the local people uh, getting in and supporting us, um, and uh, that's going to be a, a feature now. A good run of form going now. I'm, I'm beating in five, I think. I'll make it in all competitions, so you can, you can see where the team's going now. That's right. I mean, I was looking up some stats today. I think that's the 82nd or 83rd game we've had as a 21 team, and uh, that's good. So, um, long may that continue. We've got um, Leicester coming up at a cup game before Christmas, and then a real good run of games.